<clears throat> Welcome back, everybody. This is Liz Marino 300 speaking. Hope all of y'all enjoyed the last video. I know I enjoyed making it. I'm sorry for the like slight voice change. I'm a little bit sick today. Um, so, I uh, we shall be uh, switch. Yes, Got that I was watching a YouTube earlier, but there, but there we are. We shall jump right into this one. Previous video, video we did more about the dragon right, and we did the spiral abyss for the first time. So yes. <laughs> and let me welcome the chaps. Hello and welcome. As I said, let's jump right into this one. Make sure to read and follow all the rules. Where did we leave off last? <laughs> oh yes, I went a little bit over time on my stream yesterday. It's okay why that was. Oh yes, by all of us. Just a sec, let me drink my tea. Yeah. Super loud. Right. That's it. Let's jump right into this one. Uh, special event. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Hello? Hello? Yeah, no. Yeah. Let's see what this is. No, 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 This is just a series of bad stuff. This is just a series of bad stuff. What a joke. What an absolute joke. What an absolute shit, Ryan. Let's try this again. It's function F11. There we are. Let's look at this event, shall we? The Lanterite is here, brings happiness, prosperity, and good fortune. Paimon's back in the festival mode, eh? It's time to celebrate the festival. Not only does that mean meeting up with our friends, but there will also be tons of greedy, great food and fun riddles, and we'll see Garming's wash, wash you dance too. Let's head over to Chungun Vale together, eh? Hehe. <laughs> Paimon hasn't managed to try out every single t type of din sum yet. You can ask Cloud with it. Uh, I mean, Paimon means Zheng Yuan and the other Adepti if they feel like, if they'd like to come to <laughs> Okay. Hello there. Oh, and how could we forget Garming, whether it's Zheng... I'm lagging. 
whether it's Jing, uh, Shengyao Village or Yangying Wall, no one knows what Changyu, no one knows Changyu Vale like he does. Hmm, who else should we invite? Why don't we take a stroll down Liwei Harbor and ask some of our other friends too? The other companions and then their Mimira and the Mimira the Paimon, right? Oh, what's making me snooze? Great minds think alike. We might even be able to get more people talking about Gung Ming's Wushu dance while we're at it. I'll head over to Shinko Kroska to grab some snacks for the road. But Jin Wu tree house for a couple of pots and the finest freshly made tea. Ready to set off? Let's go, let's go. What is this? A Wushu dancer leaps and turns atop a high pillar, twisting to the music, bestowing good fortune upon the audience below. It's a pity that the Wushu dance has yet achieved, uh, achieved great renown in Liwei Harbor. As somewhat of a celebrity in Liwei Harbor, it's down to you and Paimon to learn some moves and help Garmin get the locals talking. Hold up! Which one is the correct answer lies behind the base companion's description. A Woshu dancer leaps atop a high pillar, twisting to the breathing, bestowing good fortune upon the audience below. Click any option to make your choice before you've confirmed. You can change your choice at any time. Click confirm and roll it up to see the answer that lies behind. Oops, wrong answer. Try choosing another one. There we go. So it needs to fit... Fix... Fit... It needs to fit the description. According to Leeway tradition, a walking beast signals the starting of spring. It will be a game within 5 to 10 minutes. Ooh! Oi, 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 oi. Fine. Hey, boss. The name's Gaming. I'm a guard from the communications office. I'm the best Wusho dancer in the secure transport agency. What? the button to switch between event stages. Mm. Click Manchi. Manchi. To icon to return to Garmin's page. Ooh. What mission? Ah, uh, hold up. We need to turn full stop mode off.
10 furnishing. Okay. What's going on? I don't really know myself. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. Log into Genshin Impact daily. Log into the web event daily. Claim two commissions. Share the web event once a day. Visit the official Genshin. What? Scan the QR I'm joking. What if I just put down, does that also go? Hmm. Just got the PNG use. 40 original resin. And complete two of them. Okay. What if I also want to do this? What if I was to unlock this? Hmm. Hmm. I want to do this guy's stuff first. Let's get into this. Time for an afternoon tea. A good snack deserves to be paired with the finest quality tea, which itself requires the right type of water, the ideal temperature, and the correct number of brews to exact the perfect flavor. The purest tea with snacks of the finest texture. A match made in heaven. I didn't see what it looked like. Yay. Oh, yes. Well, let's go back to Genshin, shall we? Wait a minute, before we actually do, let me open my task manager real quick. Don't open over here, okay. Um, Definitely was a new, it should free up a lot of space. Whoa! Don't do that! No, no, not that either. Everything in the scratch. Oh well, let's get back to Genshin. Yes, I can. I actually did receive him. That's pretty cool. Okay. Hmm. I already taken part in all of them. Already done it. This here. Yeah. 
Please say more of unlock, please. No, that's tomorrow then. Tomorrow's stream. When tomorrow's stream. Tomorrow stream again. It looks like I don't have a definitive thing what I'm doing this episode. Um wait a minute, let me finish the spiral abyss levels out the level I was doing. This is where we left off yesterday, everyone. Just right outside the spiral of this. Damn. This is sick. I drink my tea. Whoops. Too much. <coughs> oh, chamber three. Wait, when do I get to chamber three? Oh yeah, that's one. Never mind. This one, definitely. Was a towel, I spilled some. Ah, uh, there we go. <clears throat> oh, yeah, at least he's dead. Oops. I should probably heal that one, man. Are you here to play with me? Ah. Uh. Second half. <clears throat> oh no, he's dead. He's a good character to use. Is my characters okay? I'm pretty sure one of them is dead. No, she's fine. Let's go! First half, second half. Looks like I'm going to be doing that again. Ah, oh, yeah, I need to change it up for that. I don't really think I strike them. I don't really tire. Hmm. So first off, I'll go with you. 
you again, Bob's. Not you. You, just in case. Second half. You. 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 Yep. Could have added these, sir. Could have. Hold on. Uh. Definitely. Two animo. One more. Waste of an ultimate, but still, I needed that health. This is frozen time. I'll settle this. Stand with me. Skyward, got him. Make way for the adeptus. Yes, 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 
yes, yes, yes, yes. Strike cloud converged. Skyward. Lightning terrified. Oh, so sorry. Yes. Challenge complete. Let's go. Let's go out and go. Oh well. Fine, Buffy will be the same soon. Seriously, it didn't revive me. Wait, 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 no, 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 get out of my freaking thing, Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, I don't care, I don't care, get out, get out, get out, get out of here. Humiliation. Got him. 
got to be kidding me. Now I'm eliminating this guy immediately. Seize the sky. Get out of one of your godforsaken things. Can't do that without her. Can't do the whole dungeon without her. Without my characters, I can't do anything. They, who else can fly? But also get support. I have to stop in the end. Okay, three of them. I need Prima gems. <laughs> what? She gets so much from Spiral Abyss. Uh, I can I can do a tentacle with the lady. Damn. I can do a tentacle already. Let's wait for my lucky charm to arrive eh? Sure, then. Does anyone else in this chat have Jin Yuan? We can do a full Jin Yuan table. See if that helps. Um, that should be perfect. There we go. Artifacts, max, 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 okay. Max, you were near, max, so near. Could be better, real stuff. Max, not, not, max. Not max. Buddy. You need your stuff. We need to have like that group. Fourteen. Four. It's a lot of health, and why not by attack? Okay. Hmm. Ooh, that's good. That's, that's good too. I don't know which one I done so to get rid of it. I was to get rid of it. Oh no. 
There you are. And up, well, attack. No. Hmm. I swear the attack is getting lower. Never mind. The attack has gotten a lot higher. Whoa. Damn, that one took a little bit. Okay. Let's go. Don't you dare. You better not, child. <laughs> better not. Make way for the adeptus. So that means down this path. I don't see no enemies, but a roadblock up ahead. <laughs> no mind, I see enemies.
Towers, that's that. Okay, we'll go here. Why are we going to change them? Oh, yeah. Uh, just destroy the towers, you say? Over here, and that will be all of our commissions done. Holy heck! Holy heck! When was it laggy as heck? When did the lag be lag? Yeah, skyward, got him. Why? I usually stay at six. Okay. Um, uh, let's go this thing. Now, if the queen's in the woods. That was the easiest stuff done. Yeah, Aww. Okay. Hit. I just have to go kill Timmy's pigeons for, for the um for the fowl. Talk to this guy. This guy. No, the pigeons. I'm done. Wait, no, no, no. I'm going to let him sell. Let's see. 
this diligence came me back. Might need more mist grass eventually. Definitely will need this thing. Not enough anyway. That's base. Don't want that. Just put pain on a fifty bottom. I'm gonna try for like two hundred dollar. Yeah, no, I'm gonna put that off. Another flower. Hmm. I'll report back. Of course. Why would it be a little bit Yes, uh, the gods that put you in here. Nothing, no other permission. Good. Skyward! Now, uh, wait a minute. Might have enough, I might have enough. No, I don't. Add Astro. Which batch permission was there? There's the moon, there's the rocks, more me and foul. Radishes and shit. Add Astra Abyssosk. Yes. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Right, um, perfect. Add Astra Abyssosk. And Adventure Rank as well. Ain't that just wonderful? I'm placing the that in fact. Now I've got a new, the new. Vortex Palm by three. That's not a bit of a If you are presently unoccupied, perhaps we. Um, uh, no, I don't have to do Could stop a while okay. at one's abode for some repose and conversation. It's a strange wanderer. It's been getting quite busy recently. The main reason of it. Now we need to be where we. Finish this one. That's what we shall do. It's been a while. Uh, okay. Dang, there you are. Did you see Master Jean? I saw her, but purposely avoided her. 
I've missed As both that. the Lion Fang Knight and acting Grand Master, she naturally would have some reservations towards me. If I'm not careful, one day I may find myself becoming the object of one of her investigations. Well, that's but back to the matter at hand. I defeated some of the Abyss forces, but wasn't able to gather any information. Did you have more success? The traveler tells Dian. Okay. I tells see. him what happened. Well then, we can more or less figure out where the first field tiller ended up. Huh? Really? Just from the Lupus Boreas story? That information combined with a more comprehensive analysis. For example, oh. the old story you told me you heard in the cathedral. Exactly. The strange story told to you by that young sister. Long mistaken to be a curse rained down by a deceased tyrant. Ah, Paimon gets it! So the tyrant's final fury was really just missiles fired from the field tiller after it ran from Wolvendom! After it was damaged in the fight with the Wolf of the North, it must have wandered into the ruins of Old Mondstadt and stayed there. Then, whenever mm. anyone got close, pew, pew, boom! It would fire a ton of missiles at them. Until one day, it finally broke down for good, and the mm. fireball stopped raining from the sky. Back then, the people of Mondstadt hadn't seen many ruin guards before, so they came to interpret it as the Tyrant's Final Fury! It looks like we need to make a trip to Storm Terror's lair and comb the entire area. Hmm. Huh. What do you mean? No, no, no. Huh? You mean... Oh, Paimon remembers too! We saw that abandoned ruin guard sitting atop the tower when we went there before. Can't forget something like that. Yep. Before we exactly go there, I set a pinpoint somewhere. Here it is, viewpoints. I want him to come here. I think I actually got that one. This one, the phone. Yeah. yeah. Skyward. Scatter. <laughs> There we are. Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Sit down. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't believe I bought that one. But for safe measures, let's just go there for now. Very good. I can do this one now. Definitely or not. For finding storm trails and all. That's not a big rock. This is it, right? Ah, okay 
then use your elemental sight to look for the eye. Ooh, so what did you see? Huh? Nothing. Oh, but Paimon was so excited. Uh, what's going on? Are you sure you did it right? This requires another method. Using elemental sight on a field tiller is of no use because it is not powered by the elements. Let Very me give sure. it a try. What is that magic? And done. Wow! It's... it's a... The very thing the Abyss Herald has been seeking all along. The Eye of the First Field Tiller. All of the Ruin Guards today are just replicas of this machine. As the prototype, its combat capability was unrestricted. Prototype? Oh, Paimon doesn't know that word. Is it another what? ancient term from Conria? As the Abyss Order has surmised, if this eye is placed in the hands of the defiled statue, and if the limbs of Osile, overlord of the Vortex, are attached to the statue, there you have a mechanized god. And this newly born god will have the power to topple the divine thrones of Celestia. Yes. Then, what should we do with this eye? No. I'll guard it myself. Huh? You? Uh, Dane? Hmm. You won't go and do anything crazy with it, will you? You may doubt me if you wish, but I must ensure it does not fall into the wrong hands. No matter where we may hide it, they will find it. And as for the Church of Favonius, well, you know I don't trust them. Oh, <laughs> right. But our work isn't done yet. To avoid any further repercussions, we must also take care of that defiled statue. We can't have the Church get involved. Let's handle it ourselves. As for what I mean by take care of it, naturally I mean to completely destroy it. Nice. D destroy it? That's a statue of the Seven! As well as being a really important cultural relic, they're actually divine too! <sighs> well, good thing we didn't tell Barbara earlier. Otherwise she'd be going completely bonkers right now. <laughs> Do the Seven really expect me to help them look after what belongs to them? Let's go back to those ruins and destroy the inverted statue. If we are lucky, we will also run into that Abyss Herald. And I'll make sure it doesn't get, get away that. this time. <laughs> Yay. One final showdown. I don't know how we would just fight that thing. That's extremely dangerous because of, um... It's unrestricted mechanized fighting abilities. Yeah. Got him. Uh. Skyward. Got him. I'm gonna get this real quick. Present them for one's perusal. Yeah. Skyward! Scatter! We shall enter. Can't wait until I get to Inazuma so I can upgrade my character. Because you best believe I will be pulling out the interactive map for that. Oh, yeah. 
So after all that running around, we end up right back here again. Look at us. We barely escaped this place last time, and now we're strolling right back in. Gee, surely we must be some of the bravest adventurers in all of Tavat. That are the stupidest. To get to that creepy statue, we just need to follow the path we used to escape last time. That should take us right to it. Yep, that'll work. Let's go. And remember to be on your... Dag, am I supposed to pause this? Well, then what? Yeah. I don't think I'm supposed to be this high. Wait a minute. Has there been treasures and stuff in this? Wait. I did not mean to jump down. Some of them do. Yeah, skyward, scatter. And the rest of them don't. And my shinobi goes dead. <laughs> whoa, whoa. And you've got to be kidding me. like we're here, an eerie, lifeless, dark chamber. I understand the evil aura you were describing earlier. Oh, such a scary place. Be careful to not be overwhelmed by the power of the defiled statue. The Abyss Herald, it's here. <laughs> now shall you beat your ass correctly. again. You are just as vexatious as ever, Dainsliff, enemy of the Abyss. I sense your soul is stained by terrible bloodshed, perhaps from your darkest nightmares. Unless... Oh, and something far more dangerous. You reek of a corruption familiar to me. Then we are the same. We're both dangerous. But dangers from outside of the Abyss Order must be caught and caged. It is your words that forever reek of corruption. Time to silence you! You get skis in that one. Bow before the Abyss! Perfect timing, by the way. Skyward! Got her! Get a roar! Yeah! Got her! Skyward! This way! Yeah. 
Astral sword as well. <sighs> Prince. Do we have to fight the brother? Hey. Oh. Could that be? It's Ether. It's Ether. Lumina. <laughs> I gotta get this in a screenshot. So much lore is breaking down here. Uh, what's going on here? Dane knows him too? You shouldn't team up with this man. No way, no way. He is my enemy. <laughs> Ether. Hold on a sec. But it must be said. Don't try to stop me. Don't try to stop the abyss. That man Dainsliff was the Twilight Sword. One of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. 500 years ago, Whoa. he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. That doesn't make him your enemy. A curse of immortality was laid upon him to forever wander the wilderness 
while he watched the people he was supposed to protect turn into the monsters of the abyss. So that mean that could be his commander behind Aether. Damn. You're saying Dane is from Conria? The same Conria that was destroyed 500 years ago? And you said the people turned into monsters? You're trying to tell Paimon that the Abyss Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Why does Ether get a voice actress, uh, actor, but not Lume? Oh, imagine this in the male, uh, his call. Uh, and the whole thing about Dan being your enemy... Oh, Paimon's so confused. Um... Yes, of course. Home is wherever we are together. But I cannot go with you to the next world to find a new home. At least, not yet. He still has the power! You see? He still has the power! He still has it! <laughs> Until the Abyss has engulfed the thrones, oh my, my war with destiny will see no end. He's been corrupted? Listen to me, Lumine. Lumine. Oh, Lumine. Okay. I have already traveled through this world once. Once you reach the end of your journey as I did, you will see for yourself the true nature of this world. Oh. Are we going to turn down an evil path? Oh, that would be cool. Wait, no. I wouldn't choose that option, though. It's too nice. Come on, Ether. So we'll meet again. Though we need not rush, sister. I have more than enough time to wait for you. We have always had enough time. As you could see, we have the Animo stuff. Hey, see? Left. We have this teal color. Meanwhile, he still has the white. Ooh, I like this more. Oh, don't be too sad. We'll find them again. Look on the bright side. At least we got some really useful information. Really? Are you sure? No, I think Nume is crying inside. At least now, as well as the Seven, Dane is also a key part of finding your sibling too, right? <laughs> what? Is it because I haven't been? Okay. That's right! Um, by the way, what they said just now is all pretty confusing. Did you understand it at all? Oh, well then, uh, let's go over it again. First off, that Abyss Herald called your brother Prince. Okay. It seems like your brother is leading the Abyss Order. Even the Abyss Herald answers to him. Still, we don't know for sure if he's the highest ranking leader in the organization. He probably is. Also, your brother said that he wants to engulf the thrones and go to war with destiny. What the heck does that mean? Celestia. Could it be he wants to destroy the Seven and the Seven Nations? No, he wants to destroy Celestia, I believe. Next thing. Turns out the Abyss Order monsters are really what the people of Conria turned into after their nation was destroyed. This story is just plain terrifying. No. And Dane is from Conria too. He witnessed its destruction 500 years ago. But he didn't turn into a monster. And now he's fighting the Abyss Order. 
So that's why your brother said that Dane is his enemy, right? We've so yes. But if the monsters of the abyss are the same people that Dane protected all those years ago, then why is he enemies with the abyss order now? Because they must have changed direction. Also, how come after all this time we've spent searching for your brother, it turns out he's on the side of the abyss? What's up with that? Yeah, you're right. Then we can't let ourselves get down about it now. Our journey's not over yet. Let's get a move on. Time to leave this terrible dark place and get back to the surface where the sun shines bright. If your brother wants you to reach the end of your journey, show him what you're made of. Well... Come on, Traveler. Let's go. Okay. Go. Who knows? <laughs> Standing under this thing might give luck, eh? What is on top of it? Do you think it's better? Yeah, let's try and go for a pop. What's over there? Yeah, skyward, scatter. Okay, that's a bit annoying, eh? Skyward, scatter. I can't exit. Ah, it's also annoying. I want to exit, but. I no way to exit. Uh. Well, who knows? The top of this statue might give luck. Ten wishes. Let's go. Okay, Garming, Garming. Okay, this one should be Garmin. No, this one. No, this one. Oh, just the Wobber. And Garmin! Yes, boy! It did give some luck. I have six. Just a little bit? Oh, wait. Just need... Two more and then... Whoa! This is really creepy still. But we got to see our brother! Damn. I can't go back in here for again, I believe. Ooh. New complete story quest. <clears throat>
You know what? Let's do these, eh? Seriously, Paimon? Oh, you must mean imagined friend, right? Why didn't you just say so? So, this imaginary friend of yours, when does Paimon get to meet them? Seriously? So, imaginary friends just disappear when you grow up? Oh... Paimon was looking forward to meeting yours. Hey, don't suppose your brother has an imaginary friend too? No way! You guys are so lucky! Because they have this game in Liyue. Have you heard of it? It's a four-player game, but it seems you guys could play it with just the two of you. Oh, Traveler! Oh. Fancy. Fancy meeting you here! Oh, wait, this is the Venti mission. Uh, tone deaf, Bard. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm here because Lisa has been making some exciting new contraptions. Uh, why does the thought of Lisa's contraptions make Paimon so nervous? Come now, that's no way to speak about the elegant Miss Lisa. For this particular contraption, Lisa had to import some dangerous materials from Sumeru. D dangerous? <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Apparently, though, it's called an Ernama detector. Sadly, Lisa isn't able to use it herself, so I'm borrowing it for a while. And also, I'm testing it out for her, to see if it actually works. Huh? Why can't Lisa use it? Hmm, perhaps it's because she lacks a certain childlike sense of wonder. Or maybe there's some other reason for it. If you want to know for sure, just ask her yourself sometime. So, you can see them? Go on, tell us, what does his imaginary friend look like? <laughs> that would be telling. Anyway, it's all yours now, Traveler. Take a look, see if you can see Nora's imaginary friend. Do you see him? Do you see him? Ah, huh, so it does work for you two. Paimon wants to see? Wait, but this gizmo isn't in Paimon's size. All right, then. You'll just have to be Paimon's eyes on the ground. Let's go see what everyone's imaginary friends look like. Okay. Just go around looking at people's... Flora from the flower shop always seems kind of floaty-headed. You know, Paimon bet she has an imaginary friend. Probably does. Yeah, I need to get a bit of chair. It's okay. Let's go, 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 Wait, imaginary friends can be plants now? <laughs> Hi, Traveler. Hi, Bard. Sure, how can I help? Hmm. Oh, you mean Mr. Floaty? Most people can't see him. Mr. Floaty is my bestest friend. We grew up together. <sighs> no fair. Paimon hates feeling left out. Flora, why exactly are you friends with a bloaty floaty? What's wrong with it? I always wanted to be friends with a plant who could fly. Friends with a flying plant? Why? <laughs> because then when it's windy, you and your friend can fly off into the sky together. You gotta admit that's pretty cool. Isn't that yeah. called being blown away? 
<laughs> Fine one, you would know a lot about that. Call it. I only found out this plant existed from an explorer who told me stories of his adventures. I think his name was... Uh, Stanley. Stanley's an adventurer. And you can tell he's an expert at it from the stories he tells. <laughs> the amazing adventures of Stanley are super famous in Mondstadt. He's in the city at the moment. You should go ask him to tell you some of his stories. That sounds like a fun idea for next time. But uh, right now we have other things to attend to. Damn. Way to shut someone down. Flora is a pretty mysterious kid. Hmm, which child shall we interrogate next? Jimmy. Paimon's thinking. Oh, how about. Oh, well. <laughs> Wait a minute. No way! Well, uh, that is unexpected. Timmy's imaginary friend is a ruin guard? Paimon's freaking out right now. Mm. That thing is sure to attack us. Uh, <laughs> uh, what say you? We postpone our conversation with Timmy for the time being. Huh? Paimon has a favorite line? Uh, seriously? Oh, alright then. Yeah. How about we explore the area ahead of us later? <laughs> Children yeah. are more open-minded. Is that why they can th If anyone tries to shoot my... <laughs> if anyone tries to shoot my pigeons, I'll get my friend on them. Pew, pew! Boom, boom! Bang! I already killed all of them. Ah, fitting, isn't it? That the city of freedom should be home to children with such boundless powers of imagination. What about adults' imaginations? Let's ask some adults at the tavern! You might not want to look in adults' minds. They might have some more lurid stuff. Use the imaginary friend of that at least in many when you want to use. Yes, what's that? That much better, much better. Leave the tavern. Ah, uh, what? Never mind, these guys' minds are probably pure as hell. The thing about wine is. You have to drink it at the tavern, or you miss out on half the fun. Seems to me you'd find some way of keeping yourself amused, even if you drank alone. <laughs> if I didn't know any better, I would say you're being deliberately uncivil. Just drink responsibly on my premises, okay? Oh, and if I did have one too many, what then? You'd throw me out along with the trash, is that it? Yep. No. Throw you out? You know, the same way you threw out father's legacy. Oh my god. You sold off his mansion. Or maybe you've forgotten. Seriously? I see no reason to cling to things that have outlived their purpose. Okay. Is that so? <laughs> then I trust you were most swift indeed to part with a certain vase? Sorry. I have no recollection. That's odd. Master D. Luke. I'm sure I saw such a vase in your home. A beautiful one. Unmistakable, in fact. Seems our suspicions were right. Grown-ups don't appear to have imaginary friends. Good. Like I said, a lack of childlike wonder. So people just stop dreaming when they grow up? Okay, well, Paimon, for one, never wants to grow up. Aren't you like a couple hundred thousand years old, probably? Thought you were the god of time, because of reasons. Hmm, this raises an interesting question. At what age exactly do people's imaginary friends disappear? Wait a minute, are there teenagers in this Let's game? Let's go and check. 
Wait a minute. Hmm. How about Ellen? Someone of her age surely must have some imagination left, don't you think? Uh oh. Somehow Paimon finds the idea of not being able to see Ellen's imaginary friend kind of scary. Wait, Ellen is that? Oh, wait, is she a teenager? Do you can technically tell she's a teenager, I guess. Seriously? Okay. Acting drastically. What is Jean doing here? <laughs> is Master Jean Ellen's imaginary friend? So she's so determined to become a knight that she... Okay, that's kind of weird. Hmm? Oh, hello. What are you guys doing? Are you always training here? You bet. Today, I heard Stanley talking about his adventures. It was incredible. It got me really pumped up. Oh, I hope I can be as outstanding as him one day. So that you can fight shoulder to shoulder with Master Jean? <laughs> I... I mean, obviously, I want to become a knight. And if I got to go on an adventure with Jean herself, well, even better. Seems Ellen really looks up to Jean. There's nothing wrong with that. Oh, thanks. I was thinking, it's not every day I get to hang out with the honorary knight. Would you join me Didn't for I some sword training? Didn't I do a lot of training? quests with you? Like, sword? Did I really not do that? Okay. Uh, how can I smash all these training dummies at once? <gasps> so that's how to do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, thank you. It's clear I still have a long way to go in my training. Yeah, you just gotta activate a magical barrier health ring around you. That should do it for you. <laughs> so modest. I, for one, think you're quite the pro at this already. Oh, well. I'm exhausted from training, so clearly my fitness needs some work. One day, though, I'll smash all the training dummies in Mondstadt. Ellen, Ellen, she's our girl. If she can't do it, um, Billy Churl. Ugh, thanks. Shoot, I got so caught up here, I forgot there's something I was supposed to do today. Ugh, but I'm so sore from training. I can hardly move. Oh, you can not. Question coming. Honorary Knight. Could you deliver a message to Jack for me? He's gone adventuring at the Temple of the Lion with Stanley today. Stanley's a truly legendary adventurer, renowned in all of Mondstadt. Hmm. He once set foot in the Mare Javari. What's that? We were going to meet up tonight and discuss adventure plans. <sighs> Could you let him know it'll have to be another day? Great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Um, I'm a courier now. Okay, looks like we're doing a quest in there this time as well. Yay! Yeah, this is everything about this. Mm. Yep, perfect. No need for change. The Temple of the Lion? We explored Fancy. this place once before, didn't we? During the Storm Terror incident. Ooh. Seems like it's now a hot spot for adventurers. That can only mean one thing. Oh, we didn't wouldn't it be last time? Wouldn't it have been cool if when you're like floating up on that? Like look at this. What a missed opportunity would do you think it would be if oh, you can right. hold this and then you can shoot from up here like that would just be epic. Wouldn't gliding be faster? <laughs> uh, Looks like we can't go any further. Not to worry, allow me. Those who wander in the dust, the wind shall send soaring sky high. Okay. 
I can't climb any walls, right? Yeah. yeah it doesn't go high enough. Here we go. I'm done. Imagine an attack speed on Venti. Do, 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 do. Oh, wait a minute. We already have one that goes. We have a torrent of our own already. definitely overpowered him. At one point in time, someone has definitely made that ultimate do like a bajillion damage for absolutely no reason. Be Stanley, and that must be Drow. I was so sure I was about to die. To be fair, that could have gone either way. So, you must be Jack the Adventurer, I assume. Yes. Who are you? Actually, we came looking for you. Ellen has a message for you. She said she won't be able to join you today to plan out your next adventure together. She'll join you some other time. Oh, I see. I feel bad you had to come all this way to find me. And then had to rescue me. Huh? I don't see what all the fuss is about. 
It was nothing that I, Stanley, couldn't have dealt with by myself. Whoa! You are Stanley? You are that legendary adventurer? Renowned in all of Mondstadt? Who once set foot in the Mare Javari? Probably just set one foot and bolted away. <laughs> the very same. He sounds like Barrett from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> I must say, it's an honor to meet one as legendary as yourself. Well then, how would everyone like to proceed? Head back or head further inside? I think we should keep going. With Stanley by our side, we'll have no problem. Okay, motion passed by unanimous consent. Let's head further in. So. I'm guessing you mostly came here because you want to hear my adventure stories. Am I right? Nope. No, we really were just looking for Jack. What? Do you know who I am? I am Stanley, renowned adventurer of Mondstadt. Yeah, I think we got that. Well, your attitude says you don't got that. I am Stanley, the living legend. Stanley, who braved the Majivari. Enough already! Ugh. Stop name dropping yourself every time you open your mouth. It's true, though. Stanley is the most amazing guy. <laughs> well, Jack will listen, won't you? Where was I? You and your partner reached the Majivari, a famously terrifying place with not a wisp of wind. Precisely, there was a deathly silence in the air. A sea of ashes stretched out before us, as far as the eye could see. The Mejivari. Suddenly, my partner was caught in a whirlpool whipped up by an evil beast. Luckily, I managed to grab hold of him just in time. Wow, so did he make it? <sighs> Sadly. I alone was able to set foot on home ground once more. As the gentle breeze carried away the tears welling up in my eyes. <laughs> Poor guy. How could that happen? Jack, you can't cry so easily if you want to be a great adventurer. I, I know. Because an adventurer's proudest achievement is to die in the course of their final adventure. But whatever happens, no adventurer should ever die in a place where the wind doesn't blow. The wind has to bring your spirit back to Mondstadt. That's right. To die in a place where the wind blows and to have your spirit carried back to Mondstadt in the wind. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Although, the most I can aspire to right now is beginner commissions. Like clearing out the slimes clogging up the sewers. You shouldn't die in a place with no wind. Oh. Alright, Renji's about to die. Why do they keep going on about that? Hmm, is that why Stanley thinks the Mare Javari is the most terrifying place in the world? Because there's no wind there? Get out. Yeah, got her. Skyward. Huh. Our bond is strong. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Trevor, I believe I've made a small discovery. Could I ask you to use the Nernama detector once more? What? Stanley has an imaginary friend? It seems his imaginary friend is a seasoned warrior, covered in scars from head to foot, and a look of staunch determination on his face. Oh, you thought so too, huh? I agree. He wasn't telling the whole story. Please excuse me. Uh, I'll be leaving now. Bye, Stanley. 
Do you two still have time to spare? What is it? A few days ago, Stanley got drunk and told me a secret. Something he's never told anyone before. The weapons he took on his adventure all those years ago. They were none other than those once wielded by Mondstadt's greatest hero, Vanessa herself. The sword of brilliant valor and the shield of magnificent honor. He's gonna get seriously fine. I don't know whether you believe me, but apparently, both the sword and shield are still right here in Mondstadt, over in Dadaupa Gorge. Since you guys are the experts at this, can you come with me to try and retrieve these two legendary weapons? I don't know. Outstanding individuals always come with their quirks, right? If I can just get a hold of something impressive enough to show my family what I'm capable of, maybe they'll finally come around to the idea of me being an adventurer. Right now, I'm just a rookie. My abilities are limited, and my parents don't support my goals one bit. So, what do you say? Help a guy out? I can't bring myself to tell Stanley about it, because my reasons are so... Uh, selfish. But, I swear I'll give the weapons back to him as soon as I'm done. Aww, poor Jack. Let's help him out. Venti, you coming too? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, one other thing. I have a bottle of rare vintage wine that I had okay. someone fetch for me a couple years ago. Help me find these weapons, and it's all yours. Well, that, that, that's all he needs to hear. Just like my brother in here, I'll give you a chocolate. Uh, Dada Upa Gorge, was it? <laughs> Let's hurry. There's no time to lose. Wow. Just wow. So close. Nice. Yeah, nice guy from the start of it. Those look like the most. Never mind, they don't look like those super weapons. Hey, that bunch of hilly churls! Are they holding some kind of ceremony? And what's with that pile of knickknacks? Are they worshipping them? Seems so. That must be the sword of brilliant valor, surely. Make way for the adeptus. <laughs> Lo and behold, the sword of brilliant valor. Are you sure? Looks kind of basic to Paimon, and a little worse for wear, too. Why would hilly trolls be bowing down before a piece of junk like th uh, uh, seems somebody tossed an old sword into a pile of spoils these hilly trolls were already celebrating. This is in terrible shape, and it's so basic, I... <sighs> I'm at a loss for words. Hmm. 
Say, Jack, have you ever seen an animal crystal fly? They're found in the open country around Mondstadt City. If you saw one in broad daylight, you wouldn't bat an eyelid. But in the pitch blackness of night, its brilliant glow is mesmerizing. It truly resembles an exquisite crystal dancing in the night air. Is valor not the same? When everything is going your way, it seems meaningless. Fades into the background. But when you're in dire straits, valor is the thing that gets you fired up and fighting back. It's the brilliant ray of light that guides you out from the darkness. You're right. You're right. Then this has to be it. This is the sword of brilliant valor. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, we got our sword. Now we just need that shield. Let's scout around. It's definitely in Dada Upa Gorge, so... Uh, huh? There's somebody there. Stanley? What's he doing here? He's acting so weird. What happened? Why did you stop all of a sudden? Uh huh? Oh, uh, it's nothing. Just one of those Mora spouting weasel thieves pass by is all. What? Where? I, I want to see. <laughs> Maybe another time. <laughs> we have a shield to find, remember? be salvaged for parts. Perhaps one should invent some form of curio discernment mechanism. Only enemy nearby. Yeah. Lo and behold, the shield of magnificent uh. honor. Liar, liar, pants on fire. It's a chunk of wood. A chunk of scrap wood with the handle attached. Who in their right mind would use this as a shield? There's also wine stains on it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this was just taken from a wine barrel. And yet, my bard's intuition tells me that this is none other than the Shield of Magnificent Honor. Warriors wear their battle scars with pride, and shields are no different. Surely an intact shield is one that has shied away from the battlefield. Is not the broken and splintered shield the one that has fought in countless wars and lived to tell the tale? Though the soldier's body be tired and torn, still they fight till the very end, till they have no blood left to bleed. Such magnificent strength of will. Is that not the true meaning of honor? You do have a point. Shiny new shields don't stay new and shiny for long. Okay, then. Well, maybe if we ask nicely, he'll just let us take the shield of magnificent honor for free. Ahem. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Hilly Churro? Uh -huh. Well, okay, you take it from here. 
Hope you've picked up some hilly trillium by now. It Masimita. Seems cheerful enough. Maybe negotiating will work after all. Piantrap. Uh oh. He did not seem to appreciate. Piantrap. Uh oh. He did not. Yeah, yeah, Ika. Kuntala Yapata. Oh no. We ticked him off big time. Dead with me. Shield the magnificent honor and ran. Guys, thank you so much. I can't believe I actually found them. <laughs> Mom, Dad, check out the legendary weapons I found. <laughs> hey, wait! The wine you promised. Duh, and I actually helped a lot this time. Hmm? What are you doing here, Stanley? Out for a stroll. Uh, <laughs> uh hey, 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 what are you doing here, Bard? Fancy that, huh? You, um, uh, out for a stroll, too? Oh, that's right. An after-dinner stroll, to be precise. We were also helping a friend look for something. Paimon's starting to think Stanley might be a fraud. Did Stanley plant the sword and shield here in advance so as to not hurt Jack's feelings? Adventurers must be pretty familiar with Dada Upa Gorge. You fought battles here before, after all. <laughs> you better believe it. I can navigate this whole area with my eyes closed. Wow. Then I admire your perseverance. And your memory, too. It's only to be expected of a great adventurer like me. You guys had better watch out, though. This place is crawling with hillichurls. Man, shut up. I, uh, I'll get back to my, um, uh, stroll now. Goodbye. Guilty conscience, much? Well, he shouldn't have gotten so carried away bragging to Jack, should he? Although, on further reflection, I must say I'm intrigued. Someone who can't let go of the past and gives up on the present instead. I wonder, if such a person was forced to take their first step towards the future, which way would they go? What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm just musing to myself. What have I done? What is this? 36,000 frames has dropped watching and making this stream. Anyway, train. I propose we take a oh, trip huh? to Angel's Share tonight. Yeah. You asked before, but it's in that shrine. Wait. I didn't mean to go a day ahead. When did I do that? Oh. The abyss hell completely be reunited. Reunited. To be able to share. He's gonna be there crying, won't he be? Bro, 
brothers in the freaking uh, thing, the abyss, it's the boss. Tell me, Stan. Tell me what should I do? Huh? Why does he keep repeating his own name? <laughs> Surely not. Even I've never heard tell of a second Stanley. <laughs> oh, Stanley. It should have been me. I should have been the one to die in the Meljabari that day. Why won't your spirit come and stop me from using your name? Why, Stan? Yeah. If only you hadn't had to save a rookie like me, you would have never died in that windless corner of the world. You were a renowned adventurer, destined to become a legend one day. But now, that'll never happen because your life was cut short, and all because of a worthless tag along. Uh, does anyone get what's going on here? I think our friend really did make it to the Mare Javari. And I think the tragedy he encountered there was real too. But the real adventurer, the real Stanley, that was his partner, not him. The real Stanley is the one who died to save our Stanley. Wait, so the only reason our Stanley is called Stanley in the first place is because he stole the other Stanley's name? I fear that may be the case. Stanley, for so many years I've lived in fear. Fear that Mondstadt will forget all about you. So I tell you adventure stories at every opportunity. Mondstadt must remember. Stanley reached the center of the Madjabari. He's the greatest adventurer there ever was, and he lives on. Stanley will never die, because I am Stanley. I... I'm Stanley. It's like Technoblade will never die. But I'm sorry, Stanley. I'm getting too old. Now. Are you guys planning on eavesdropping much longer? Attack the death. tell you again. Honorary Knight, Venti, and Paimon. I'm so glad you guys are here. Oh no. I've been looking for you everywhere. I wanted to thank you again for helping me find the sword and shield. My parents are finally supporting me. Oh, really? Yeah, really. They even said they're gonna pay for someone to fix up the sword of brilliant valor and shield of magnificent honor for me so I can take them out on the road. Oh, to be kidding me. That's wonderful! So, Jack, is this the part where you bid farewell to Mondstadt and set off on your intrepid trip traversing to that? No, not yet. I still don't have what it takes to go too far from home just yet. Besides, I'm sure Stanley still has a few stories left to tell. <laughs> They're what inspired me to become an adventurer in the first place. Stanley, I... Oh, you're drunk again. We'll see you tomorrow then. After your hangover wears off. Maybe you can tell me some more of your stories? Stanley's really fond of that kid, don't you think? Uh, yeah. Jack. Jack left. Oh, I see. Well, thank you for not telling him about my secret. Huh? All of a sudden you're facing the facts? That isn't like you. Just now. I couldn't bear to look at him. His adventurous spirit is so pure. Just a weary old feckless fraud. 
But that kid is a brand new shining star, full of potential. I cannot allow his dreams to be crushed. Mm, you're not a total fraud. Stanley's adventure stories and experiences, they're all true, aren't they? Stories? Experiences? What's the point of them anymore? To be honest, my memories of adventuring and of Stanley, they're hazy these days. That's my biggest secret of all, and my biggest fear. All these years, I've been living to tell his story. But his personality and the details of his life, I don't remember them clearly anymore. <laughs> but the one thing I can never forget is that he died in a windless land where his spirit can never be recovered. Exactly. Even in his memory, yeah. the real Stanley isn't the living, breathing friend he knew at all. Instead, he's become fixed on the image of him as that battle-scarred warrior. And that image has held him captive his entire life. I'm too old. I never let go. But still, so much has slipped away. I'm completely and utterly worthless. No adventurer should have to go that way. No adventurer ever. Hans Archibald. <sighs> My true name? How did you know? <laughs> uh, uh, the wind! I can hear the wind blowing in the Mare Javari! Uh, I always believed... No! You existed! Will you hand me your old friend's spirit? Uh, uh. Damn. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe it. Thank you all. And thank you, Lord Barbados. Damn, you got recognized. I'm sorry. It's gonna take me some time to calm back down, but I think that I'm gonna be okay. That's all good then. Ah, oh, wonderful! Stanley reconnected with his true self and Jack can finally go his own way. This calls for a celebration! And by celebration, I do of course mean libation. And by libation, you mean you're not leaving this tavern till you're too drunk to walk, right? <laughs> no, the wine here's too expensive. Jack still owes me some wine, though. He promised me a rare vintage in exchange for helping him out, remember? I'll head off to fetch the wine. See you shortly. Let's meet at the usual place. What's that? Huh? Huh? Was what is that well? supposed to be? Why has Paima never heard of it? I have no idea. Head to the usual place. Do I actually have to find it? I don't know. It's probably under the tree. Or up there. Yeah! Skyward! Scatter! Just pull and find a statue, why not? No. Let me see. 
You made it. Finally. Just tell us where you mean next time, okay? We looked everywhere. <sighs> so, did you at least manage to find your wine? Yep. Uh, well, <laughs> sort of. Jack made it out to be a rare collector's edition vintage. When actually it's just a half bottle of regular cider. Ah, <sighs> this takes me back. The first time I saw this view, I hadn't even taken on this form yet. What form? What? What form did you take? It was about 2600 years ago. No. Before the world had come under the rule of the Seven. <laughs> At that time, old Mondstadt was ruled by a tyrant who sealed off the city's perimeter with a ferocious hurricane. Even the birds couldn't get in or out. Old Mondstadt? Oh, Pyra remembers! Nowadays it's known as Storm Terror's Lair, right? You mentioned it before! That's right. The Tyrant of the Winds who once ruled from that tower was Decarabian, God of Storms. Back then, I was but a wisp among the Thousand Winds. I wasn't a god of anything. I didn't even have a human form. I was just a tiny elemental being who lived in the wind. A gentle breeze bringing subtle changes for the better. Or tiny seeds of hope. A tiny Ooh. elemental being? Without a human form? Venti, do you mean you used to look different than you do now? I want to see... Yep. My current form is not so different from the situation with fake Stanley. <laughs> I took the form of a friend. In old Mondstadt transpired Mondstadt. the story to be told. Where a tyrant ruled, I met a boy not that old. The lyre he played, and for a song he sought. But storm walls blocked blue sky, he was sincerely distraught. I do so wish to see the birds in flight, said he, his strong eyes filling with light. But his voice was lost in the howling wind's churn. For the whirlwind takes and gives not in return. The true sky and songs that cageless soar, were they not wishes worth fighting for? So the boy turned, extending his hand. Let us cast down the tyrant and his walls from this land. The young boy raised in the flag of revolt, and I threw myself into freedom's tumult. Victorious were we who fought to be free. Gods fell, winds whipped, nations shook violently. In the smoke, a despot met his doom. And we watched as his great tower fell none too soon. Who's that? Stat began anew, the story passed down. And since then, never has another worn its crown. So then what? More lore! Yes! What happened to your friend? Say, Paimon, do you wish to hear the next part of the story? Yes, of course! The suspense is killing Paimon! But Venti's telling his story! What makes you suddenly want to have a meat feast? <laughs> Getting a little peckish or something. Huh. Paimon's headed up to here with you. <sighs> you know, Still you're so smart guy. it almost makes me uncomfortable sometimes. Thanks. But then, maybe it's right that true friends can tell what the other is thinking. A refreshing drink, a gentle breeze. <sighs> Moments like this always take me back. Back to a song that I first heard from him. I'm listening. Fly, fly away. Like a bird in the sky. See the world on my behalf. To the heavens may you fly. Oh. So much lore. Green hair, big eyes, and uncharacteristically silent, quietly gazes at Venti. 
sometimes even the lonesome wind was heavy in its grief, but not that mortals could ever see at a moment where it's so deep. Damn. That was... I don't know, I have to slurp us. Oh, this ghost story quest? Okay. Wait a minute. It's the prologue. Don't like prologues. <laughs> Shall do with this one. And I feel like this one will better be better to end the video. More or less. with the abyss. Well, keep your chin up. Hyman believes in both of you. And when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Right? He said we needed to reach the end of our journey. Hyman bets he still has lots more to tell us. And I bet we still have a lot more journey. And we won't find out what this journey is or where it will end unless we keep going. <laughs> then Paimon will be sure to keep up the good work. Although, where should we go next? If we want to continue with the journey... Still need hmm. to find that god. Oh, you mean the god that took your brother away in the first place? You're mm -hmm. right. After all, everything that followed... All this confusion? It all started with her! Ooh, Paimon supports that idea! Just the thought of it's so satisfying. Uh, Paimon, you okay? That's really uncharacteristic of you. Well, uncharacteristic we've two gods so far, the Animo and Geo Archons. So, hmm... Paimon doesn't think we can simply walk into Inazuma. Zhongli said it was a closed nation. We'll have to find some other way in. <gasps> Why don't we ask someone from Inazuma how to gain entrance? Oh, Paimon spotted someone already! Atsuko, in Leo Harbor! She's from Inazuma! Let's see what she has to say! Damn it. Damn it, damn it. Please don't. Please don't. Please thank goodness. Unexpected guess. <laughs> what? Story quest? Story quest? Quest not discovered yet? I need to do this. But I'm not doing the prologue. Prologues can wait. Sorry, but no. You are the next thing that's going to be on my list. 
that. This one has been a very non-active stream. Okay, it just makes it feel like the time goes a lot, lot slower. We're here. Let's see. Shincho said it should be around here, but Paimon doesn't see anything. Just change the weather. This place was hidden using a special Adepti art. But now that I have removed it, we can inspect the area more closely. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! Hey, look! Is that a new ceiling over there? Hmm. Wait a minute. I know where this... No, 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 no. Around this mountain, there is... Three things to be able to access this here. Oh yes, we need the Geo Girl to access. We got them three, which gets a precious chest. Yeah, skyward. Got I remember that from my uh, main account. No way. <laughs> it is not recommended. Well, wait a minute, you might be down. I'm gonna level you up now for 30 for 5. Damn. Hmm. Still got a lot of time left. Why are there so many good screenshotable wait whoops places? Oh, so many clouds. It feels like we're high up in the sky. No? I believe this is the abode of that adeptus. Okay. With any luck, the sunset familiar night we're looking for should be in here. I think we do have any luck. <laughs> I think we have all the luck. Really? And now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't seem complete. Oh, could there be something below the clouds? These are not real clouds. They are the product of an Adepti art used for spatial partitioning. If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that is maintaining the Adepti art. All right, then let's do it. I sense the presence of monsters in this place. I don't know where they are hiding, so we'd better be careful. Okay. Yeah, skyward, scatter. I believe. Oh.
Isn't that just a bit powerful? And she has eighteen thousand health. Obey. Our bond is strong. Yeah, got her. I want my ultimate. Go get the loot! Bro! It appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Space game. Manifest. The core of the mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. We need to go further down. But before that, let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Skyward! Manifest! This is like an area to explore. Hold up. Oh wait, no, it's not an area, it's called Scroll. Skyward! Scatter! Hey, what gives? 
get out of here. This thing is much bigger. Obey. My will embodied. Yeah. Skyward. Scatter. Huh. Much faster. Nothing looks different about this stone wall. Let's take a closer look. Same with this one, yeah. Do 
I'm about to die. Or one of my characters out of the five arm. Oh, what? Still, I'm going to go now. Manifest! Got her! Make way for the attack! Obey! Oh! That's where we're going now. Not not good stuff anyway. That is a lot of sunset vermilion vermilion nights. If so. doesn't float until it's activated. It may look different from most ordinary stones, but it weighs around. Only after being activated does Plostrite reveal its true nature, breaking free from the shackles of the mortal realm and ascending up into the heavens. Wow, Shenha. You seem to know everything about this. Only because my master is fond of chatting about these things. The moment she has some time to spare, she'll come straight for me and start telling story after story. I don't care for her stories most of the time. I certainly didn't expect them to ever come in handy like this. Hold on a sec! Hyman just realized something. If we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it back to the site, right? Heck, we'll be dragged up into the sky too! But if we don't activate it, how else are we gonna lift it? This rock must weigh well over a thousand pounds, surely! That's okay, I can fit it all in my inventory. Don't worry, I can handle the weight quite easily. Come on! Are you sure? Uh, be careful! Please don't worry. I'm well aware that a Plostrite sample this large must be highly valuable. 
I will be gentle with it and make sure it does not get damaged. My safety. That's right! Paimon's sure you can handle it and everything. But if something this heavy lands on you, you're gonna get yourself hurt, no matter who you are. You gotta be extra careful when lifting heavy objects. It's just common sense! Hmm. Is it now? Hmm. Well then, thank you. I'll go on ahead with the plostrite. Let's meet at the building site later. <laughs> what? How is Shenma able to carry that huge <laughs> rock all by herself? Huh. Adept dies super strength much? We can't slow down yet. Let's go meet her at the building site. We shall. What the? I can fit it in my inventory. I know I could. <laughs> but still, what the heck? <laughs> That's 6.5%. That's a lot. What's our fear? This may be correct, but I'm going to sign. Yeah. That is such a huge amount. Fiddlesticks. Wow. Master coming down. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. How can she lift that massive rock all by herself? She's got to be one of those Adepti, surely. Oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful salary. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations, this item is approved for submission. I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. May I take your name? My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Shenhe! And Ningguang's little helper! Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plostrite specimen. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper. It's secretary. That's helpful. <laughs> okay then, Miss Secretary, what do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing, right? In truth, it is the finest piece of plostrite we have received so far. If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. I have a teapot, thank you very now, much. please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. Shenhe! Shenhe! Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises! Oh, really? Damn. What kind of reaction is that? So strange. Aren't you happy about it? Whenever Paimon gets praise, Paimon can't help but hold her head up high and break into a big, smug smile. I've had similar compliments before. Okay. They call me an adeptus, treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. Yeah, because that's how adept I are. At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive, too. Way different than normal people. But uh, I am not. Uh... Shenna? I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. Um. Well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use, right? Let's go check in and take a rest. No need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. You can't 
do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice, comfy bed. All right? Seriously, don't punish yourself like this. Okay. If you insist. Great! Now we're talking. Let's head to our hotel. This will be the first time I think we've ever slept in the ground. Hi there! Checking in, are we? You're just in time. We only have two rooms left. Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, we've had a constant stream of people in this area. And not just workers, either. Visitors, business people, tea sellers, all sorts. So, business is booming for me today. Very few vacancies. You're lucky you got here when you did. Great! One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. The other room is just at the door on the left. On the left? On the left? There is no... <laughs> Here are your keys. All right. Hope you enjoy your stay. Please excuse me. I'll leave you to it. Shenha, you should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. Hyman's gonna go see if there's anything good to eat around here. <laughs> Hyman couldn't help but notice one of the guests walk in with a huge grilled chicken drumstick before. Let's buy one for Shenhua, too. She can have it as a midnight snack. Or save it for breakfast tomorrow. <sighs> All right. I will head... If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. Mm-hmm. See you tomorrow. Retainer? What's she doing here? Let's go and say hi. Okay, let's just go say hi to one adapters. Hello there. <laughs> hey, Cloud Retainer, I'm coming up with my yeah. own Cloud Retainer. Cloud Retainer? <laughs> hi, I'm Cloud Retainer. One trusts you have met Shen He. So, are you getting along quite well? So far, so good. Yeah. So, you know Shen He too, Cloud Retainer? Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. All the Adepti living today are acquainted with Shen He to some degree. Cool. So, what's her Adeptus name anyway? Calling her Shenhua feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking maybe it'd be better if we called her by her Adeptus name instead. Her Adeptus name? Why, pray tell, would Shenhua have an Adeptus name? Uh... Don't all Adepti have a special title they go by? On this latter point, you are correct. However... Shen He is human. Damn. Oh, oh, right. Wait, what? What? You knew already? <sighs> so is Paimon the only one who didn't know? Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary human beings? Well, to start with, her problem-solving methods are... Extremely direct. Ah, oh, yes. She was like this all those years ago when one first met her. In this respect, she has not changed. One first found Shanha by chance in a cave. One was passing by and sensed the presence of a god's remains. Being of an ev- Inside no. was Shanha. Then aged around six years old. In her hand. She held a dagger with which she was confronting a monster 
that was the god's remains incarnate. Whoa. That sounds so dangerous. When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. Most mortal children are fragile, both physically and mentally, and are highly reliant on their parents for survival, but not so her. That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower, but also to the bloodlust and homicidal instinct with which she was born. One dealt with the monster, yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. Only after she was satisfied that one had no intention to cause her harm did she finally relent. She then passed out without uttering a single word. In other words, if you hadn't passed by that day, Shenhua might have... Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. Even had the stalemate continued, one suspects that Shen He may have still emerged the victor of the confrontation. Oh, hell no. dangerous, though. Why was a tiny little kid battling against the wrath of a god in the first place? <laughs> Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. And she had experienced her fair share of this, even at a tender age. Seeing that she was homeless, one decided to adopt her. Indeed, it is one to whom she refers. Xian He has an extraordinary constitution, making her well adapted to practicing the Adepti arts. All the Adepti cherished her talents, and so we were willing to train her. However, her homicidal urges did not subside with age. Rather, they grew stronger day by day. Moon Carver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of calamity. Consumed by malevolent energy, she is prone to bring harm to those around her. Such is the magnitude of the danger this poses, that her soul must be bound with red ropes to keep her homicidal instinct at bay. The red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. But they also seem to have rendered her somewhat inexpressive. Perhaps the red ropes are so powerful that they have suppressed some of her other emotions as well. Definitely. It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Now that Shen He's path has crossed with yours, please be sure to treasure the gift that fate has given you, and take good care of her. Oh, now Paimon gets it. You came out here to check up on Shenhe because you were worried about her, didn't you? Huh. You dare draw such a facile conclusion on the nature of one's present excursion? Incorrect. The truth is that while Liyue Harbor may seem peaceful today, danger is always lurking in the shadows. Ningguang once made a bold assertion that this is to be the era of the contract between Liyue and the humans. Well, one is most curious to observe how she will respond to the coming storm. If she handles it admirably, one is willing to be a witness to her achievements. But if she does not, the Adepti shall not hesitate to seize control. Let us conclude our conversation here for today. One has occupied enough of your time, and night is approaching. Be sure to get ample rest. Nice. So a human raised by the Adepti is precisely what Liyue needs right now. It is also what the Adepti wish to give to Liyue. Oh, no 
wonder she doesn't like being treated as an adeptus. Having everyone falling over themselves to show their respect all the time must be kind of hard to deal with. Eight in the morning. Perfect. Ooh, this episode looks like it's coming to a close. One more, like, talking thing, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, just one more talking part soon. Uh, hey! So, Shenhua... Master has relayed my situation to you, I take it. Damn. Oh? How did you know? I'd intended to wait until you came back before going to sleep, but I didn't hear you come in. So you turn out. <laughs> I was worried that something may have happened to you. So I went outside to check and caught sight of my master. On top of this, you have been acting very strangely around me this morning, I causing have. me to suspect that my master must have told you everything about me. After all, master is... very talkative. <laughs> One way to describe her. <laughs> Sorry, Shenhua. Paimon had you down as an adeptus this whole time, but it turns out Paimon was wrong. It's okay. I don't mind. You do. The fault is mine for not explaining everything to you sooner. Because in my experience, trying to explain is a futile pursuit. Still, though you mistook me for an adeptus, you never treated me as distant and unapproachable. Instead, you treated me as you would a friend. Yes. Yeah. For this, I am very grateful indeed. To be fair, we've met our fair share of real adepti, too. Anyway, now it's settled. From now on, you're our friend! Whether you're an adeptus or a human isn't the important thing. First and foremost, we're just plain old friends! Got it. Although I don't know quite what it entails in terms of what I have to do, <laughs> I must say I like the title, Friend, very much indeed. <laughs> okay, she's, obviously she hasn't had a friend before. I don't have that many of myself, but that's okay. Great! Well, that. now that we're all rested up, we should start searching for the other two items on the list. We but shall. before we do that, Let's go to the building site and ask Ningguang's little helper how the progress is going. <laughs> After all, Sunset Vermilionite is so rare. Paimon doubts many competitors will really be able to find any. If it turns out some of them have given up already, we'll be able to take things a little more slowly. Okay, so before oh, we actually do, we do we that... We bought some grilled chicken drumsticks <sighs> on the way back last night. There what? is a place just outside. Huh? That's for the next episode. So good. I concur. It has a rich flavor, far more agreeable than those I've cooked for myself in the wilderness in the past. Yeah, skyward. Hold on, hold on. We're ending it on top of the build site. This contraption won't stop me. It won't stop me. Won't stop me, it won't stop me, it won't stop me, it won't stop me. It will not stop me. Damn you. I'm ending it up here, I don't care if I go over time. We're, we're going up on top of this thing. Oh. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's a giant piece we found. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Come on. Where's the? Did, what? Huh? Do it? Well, it's a tool. Um. So we shall end it here, everyone. Yes. Um, not much of an interactive stream, but that's okay. Hmm. So, for the people watching on Twitch, thank you so much for watching to the end. And if you're just joining now, I'm sorry to inform you. I although I will be streaming. Wait, what day is it today? Hmm. I might be streaming tomorrow. Might. I'm not one hundred percent sure. Might be streaming tomorrow at 10 p.m. EMT plus 8. I might. Not 100% sure, but I might. And for the people on who are watching this back on YouTube, you might not get an episode tomorrow. But in two days' time, I can definitely tell both of you that I'm not going to be streaming. So on sun Saturday, I won't be streaming, and that means on sun. Yeah, on Sunday, for years, there won't be a video, indefinitely. So, um, I hope to see you all here tomorrow, and, um, for the people watching this back on YouTube, on the right here should be my latest video, on the left here shall be my first video of this series, although it will be very laggy. In the center here shall be my subscribe button. If you like more videos like this one, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. See you all next time.